They got nothing but lies. They lied to you about Tesla. They always capping. They are always telling falsehoods. And now today we're going to show you what it is. The Tesla space, like the video, subscribe to them because they're elite. Now let's get active and let's die into the video. This episode, everyone is wrong about Tesla. The Cybertruck gets smashed. Tesla's ass is making strange noises and you get a vote on where the next supercharger location is built. Starting with one year ago when we saw the Model Y take over the title as the best selling car of any kind in the world, which was an impressive feat, but Model Y still failed to reach the top spot in Tesla's home market. Nobody care. It's the top selling car in the galaxy. So the world counts. You can't just only count in America, but let's continue. Market of the USA, a designation historically occupied by the Ford F-150, since the year 1982. Well, now old people just need to get up out the way with that. F-150 is whack. Well, that is about to change. The Tesla Model Y is very close to becoming the number one best-selling vehicle in the U.S. Not just electric vehicle, but any vehicle. That is according to new registration data from Experian. With a 2.8% market share, the Model Y came in just slightly below the current best-selling Toyota RAV4, which is also at around the same market share percentage, but just a hair higher. We know the USA is a pickup truck driven market, but in 2024, the typically dominant Ford F-150, with both gas and electric versions included, has fallen to the third spot with two point. Yeah, get out of here, man. Who rocking a Ford 150 anyways, man? Like you old folks, plus get a cyber truck. 0.7% of the market. Now, despite all the misleading media coverage you may have seen forecasting the downfall of electric cars, we just saw EV market share among vehicle registrants grow to a record level of 9% in the second quarter, up from 8.1% a year ago. By the way, in the United States, the largest vehicle market, California, Model Y is already the best-selling car of any fuel type, completely dominating the number two, which is, again, the Toyota RAV4. According to the EV... And Texas is next, boy. And Texas is next, boy. Like, we flexing. We're doing good in the market across the world. That matters. And then when you're actually looking at the U.S., one of the largest markets, the largest market is California. We're doing great in that market. Overall, the Ford 1F50 is still in the race but it's been knocked down. So in 2023, we outperformed in the world. And now in 2024, possibly we can outperform in America and even still the world. Get your boy. Universe sales overview. In the first half of 2024, Tesla sold 69,810 Model Ys in the state, which is almost double the RAV4's 36,160. Even in China, now the world's largest auto market, the Model Y has become the best-selling SUV of any fuel type so far this year. It seems clear that the Model Y domination from last year is not stopping. Our European correspondent Jan also confirmed Tesla's lead when looking at purely all electric cars across the world in the first half of this year. The Tesla Model Y is still dominating in China, Europe, and the US, with the Model 3 coming right behind in second place for both Europe and the US. So there you go. Two false narratives debunked. One. Two false narratives debunked. Always giving out false narratives about what we're doing over here at Tesla. That's why I said you got to watch out for the hype and guard your life. You got to watch out for the hype and follow what's right. You got to fight, fight, fight and watch out for the hype, hype, hype because it ain't real life. They lying. The false narrative about the EV market not doing good. The false narrative about since Elon got into politics is going to do the worst. I mean, like he's been in politics. Also, he's been saying what he says on Twitter. And in 2023, we did good. In 2024, we're doing good. And so as far as geniuses go, we're doing relatively great. And America hasn't had a really successful automotive company in over 50 plus years. And so Tesla's the first one. And, you know, Ford has been doing good for itself. So much respects to Ford. And they didn't take out bailout money. So this is a positive thing for us as far as industries go. And we have to compete on a global scale. BYD is at our neck. And we want America to win. 
And plus the best vehicle. Okay. Shout out to BYD, but come on, you're not better than Tesla. One of Tesla's competition overtaking it, and two, the myth of EV sales dropping like a rock, so easily exposed. Meanwhile, Tesla has a wild card up its sleeve, especially for the US market, the Cybertruck. According to S&P Global in July, Tesla delivered 5,175 Cybertrucks in the US, while other EV pickups combined sold just 5,546 units during that same period. Cybertruck no advertisement, might I remind you. Let's continue. Is currently still going through its Foundation Series buyers who are paying something like a $20,000 premium for the early version. So I think you and I both know Tesla will continue to sell everything it can make during its production ramp up and beyond. Once it launches those cheaper versions, starting with the $80,000 option package, which should also be eligible for the $7,500 federal tax credit. And who knows, maybe someday they'll even deliver the early promise of a $39,000 Cybertruck. Either way, there's no doubt in our mind that the Cybertruck will become the best-selling electric pickup truck in the U.S. and perhaps everywhere else for years, it already is. years to come. You can also already see the cultural popularity of the Cybertruck growing, in spite of its divisive appearance with more and more famous celebrity drivers, rappers like the Baby using a Cybertruck on their album covers and song titles, kids cheering every time they see one, and light shows at Cybertruck gathering events. See, we just need the kids to grow up. That's it. Give us about 10 years. The kids will grow up and want a Cybertruck. The old folks, man, I love my... I love, I love my... F-150, I'll never go over to some cyber truck with some electricity. I don't trust electricity, and I don't trust no cyber truck. Wait until those people fade out in the market, and we bring in a younger generation that's saying, cyber truck, cyber truck, the future, the future. We need those kids in the market, and they're going to line up, baby. They're going to give us money. They're going to buy the Cybertruck and they're going to love the Cybertruck. It's like the Cyberfest that just took place in Florida featuring 78 Cybertrucks. Speaking of the Cybertruck, as you all know, it comes with those super strong reinforced, although sometimes perhaps not metal ball proof windows, which is cool if you're ever under attack in a Cybertruck, but you might be left wondering how firefighters would be able to rescue people in case of an emergency situation. Y'all always scared, here we go. The Tesla Exclusive Collision Center, all set in Florida, has set out to show exactly that, inviting local first responders to a crash course on Tesla safety, which includes breaking the windows. The all set team says the takeaway from the first responders was that they were seriously impressed with how Teslas are built to protect people in a crash, and they can actually get to someone quickly thanks to Tesla's safety features even with the reinforced glass. For the test captured in the video, it took the firefighter three swings of an axe for the first crack to form, and then another 12 to actually break through. Fun fact, did you know Tesla has a whole web page dedicated for first responders information, guides for all of its vehicles and products, including EV safety training? This is just one example from a document called the Cybertruck Rescue Sheet, and it illustrates the vehicle's airbag system, high voltage and low voltage wiring, plus the ideal towing and transport procedure. No, we are not making this up, I swear. You might have seen recently. All right, cool. I'm not getting into the farting part, but guys, look, that's just the Tesla vehicle, right? Like cross the board, you've been lied to, okay? You've been duped, okay? So that's okay. It happens to all of us, all right? We just have to, you know, understand that we've been bamboozled. Ran a struck, ran a, ran them up, and they just gave us some falsehoods. But that's okay. Amazing how well this company is doing, despite of all the slander it gets from mainstream and the oil industry pundits. Now let's see what someone else says. Tested autopilot or auto park in its park better and faster than I could ever have. Greetings from Poland. Another person says it's wonderful that a car can now. Okay. Anyways, and this is insane that Tesla Y is the number one in China given how much cheaper Chinese EVs are. Exactly. Let's just get that price under control. And they did a promise that they did not promise Cybertruck Auto Park would come in September. It's just on the roadmap as a goal. Important distinction to mitigate the false claims of broken promises. That's just what majority of people say, all right? If you check out my last video when I was talking about the iPhone 16 versus the actual Tesla products, it's like people just gonna say whatever because it's just what people say in the culture. 
I, you know, I, money is the root of all evil. I'm like, huh? Like money's just sitting in the vault somewhere. How is that the root of evil? But again, people just regurgitate talking points. And the same thing exists for Tesla. There's a mispromise. Every company has mispromised. The Apple car never came out. Like a lot of products and cell phones that are supposed to come out for Amazon never came out. Like a phone for other companies didn't come out Tesla, right? But that happens in the marketplace. It's called research and development. Some things make it to production and some don't. So at the end of the day, you got to calm down on the calm down and understand that there's a difference between research and development and mass production versus a prototype and limited production. But most people don't understand that hot ether, but it's okay. This is not investment advice, but you've been lied to, you've been played, settle down you, boy behave. That's what they told you, I understand. It'll be okay, dog. You've been programmed. Understand that Tesla is the future and it's the wave. The Cybertruck and the Model Y have outperformed in all markets globally. And it's just getting started. It's electric. And of course, the big homie, Elon, for the win. I see you guys on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget about the Tesla space, a great channel. Go over there and check them out and find out more great information about Tesla. We're winning.